we want to welcome home Isque and uh, you know what? Summer isn't summer without having your bright, <laughs> sunshiny face come into Winnipeg mm -hmm. and uh, this will always be your home, correct? Always, always, yep. I've, I've lived in many different cities. I've progressively gone to bigger and bigger cities and then I find that you know, I got to a city that was millions and millions of people and have now been getting progressively smaller and smaller again and I always keep coming back here. Okay, so so much has happened for you, Isquay. I mean, you've always been strong, always been true to your music, and let's call it a blend of hip hop, r rock, you know, blues, maybe a darker side. Mm -hmm. But now things are starting to come to you, and people are hearing about you. How has that changed you, or has it? Um, I don't think it's changed me. I think it's it's inspiring. So it's, it's encourage, and encouraging, I guess is a better word. It's encouraging me to continue on. I, I, I posted on Facebook, of course, you know, the source of all information. <laughs> I posted there uh, back in May about how I was tired of the music industry and entertainment and the instabil instability of the arts. And, and, you know, I was like, oh, that's it. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. And then I was going to take my dogs for a walk to go and kind of decompress. And I opened my door and I, right there, the mail had come and I received a grant, or a grant acceptance letter. So I was like, <laughs> okay, just kidding. <laughs> I'll keep going. Oh, but I mean, let's, I, I want to ask you how hard has it been and what do you think was successful for you mm -hmm. that you are now at this point with your music? You know, I think it's perseverance, to be totally honest. It's, I've been doing this for quite a while now. Uh, my, my album that I'm touring right now, I released it back in October, but it took me eight years to do, and I, I had a lot of very close calls with really exciting uh, mm -hmm. opportunities that never really came to fruition, right? So it would always be like just right there, or you know, contracts would be negotiated and things would fall through the cracks, and who knows, you know, clearly I just wasn't in that the right place at that time. Mm -hmm. um, so now that things are starting to pick up again, I, it, it's exciting, but at the same time, I'm like, okay, I, I want to be cautious and prepared and continue to make a, you know, uh, the right decisions. And, and that's that's that can be hard because as an artist, you want to follow your heart mm -hmm. and your passion is your music and getting it out there. But yeah. you're right, there's so much red tape and there's so much politics behind it. Absolutely. And congratulations now, uh, Western Canada Music oh, Award. Oh, thank you. Yay. Yeah. So speaking about politics now, but I mean, <laughs> if you win, yes. what will that mean for you personally, but for your music? Well, for me personally, I'm, I'm really excited, you know, even just for that nomination. It's, it's my first mainstream nomination. Mm -hmm. So that to me is, um, it's really exciting and it's kind of it's reflecting on on something that I've been trying to work towards I'm an indigenous person I'm a mixed heritage of Irish and indigenous uh, lineage and I find that far too often we can get pigeonholed into certain categories or genres or or um, targets and it can be very difficult to remove yourself or to not remove yourself entirely but to be able to inc include yourself into multiple streams mm -hmm. so for me this one's really exciting because it means that I'm I'm achieving that goal of, of reaching multiple streams instead of just uh, uh, one pocket oh. yeah and I guess now speaking as a spokesperson for women in the industry and, and we are seeing like there's real girl, girl power and mm -hmm. some very talented females but is it still hard for females to get ahead in this business? I would say absolutely. <laughs> I, I think that there are a lot of there are a lot of um, different types of hurdles that, that come up as a female in the arts and especially a female in the entertainment industry. Uh, I, I had moved to LA some years ago and kind of had a crash course in the industry side of things and it was, it was really difficult to maintain a sense of self and grounding and you know still being able to feel um, pride and confidence in whatever your values were and that sort of thing and not shift into this new world of these values over here that might not fit in what your, you know, like what your initial thoughts were. And so I do feel like there, those obstacles are there, but once you acknowledge that they're there and you recognize them as being 
those things over there, it's a lot easier to maneuver once you've uh, separated the two and then kind of rebuilt your confidence as, you know, as an independent person, as a female, as whatever, whatever you want to, to pull and, and kind of hold on to, if that makes sense. Well, it, you know, it, it, it certainly does. And as I'm sitting here listening to you, I, I can't feel like, wow, I've, I've seen you grow yeah. so much. And, yeah. and, uh, and if you win, well, it's another superstar. So remember mm -hmm. us at Shaw TV. <laughs> but um, I, I think also it just gives inspiration that you can do it. And you're right, perseverance. Mm -hmm. And just being true to what you truly love will totally make you succeed. Yeah. I mean, it's... Uh, I definitely, you know, I don't want to discredit the support that I've had from my family and my loved ones and my friends. I think without them, I wouldn't have been able to have that, find that strength, right? Like when you have your, your backbone sort of holding you up all the time, every time you kind of start to fall down and they pick you right back up to say like, no, no, keep going, you can do this. It's hard. There was no, no denial. And, you know, I'm nowhere near um, like my end goal or anything like that, but chipping away at it all the time and having that encouragement behind you has been a big help. Because, you know, when you're, when you are doing something as an independent artist, and we were talking a little earlier about um, being an independent artist now is, is much different than back in the day, right? Where now you, you manage yourself, you are your own agent, you're your own tour, manager everything right so when you're do and you know producer and promoter and everything there's a, there's a lot to be done in any any given day and it can become kind of overwhelming sometimes so it's it's just a matter of like like you said just keep doing it yeah. if you love it you have to right you have to be able to find that balance between art and business and you know offer yourself enough time in each day or week or month to be able to do both well, congratulations, Isque. Thank you yes, very much. fingers crossed. Western Canada music nomination that will be happening in Winnipeg October 4th and 5th. And we will now leave you more with Isque. I don't know what we're supposed to do, yes. Get an ice crib, kid, some skins, and a bling bling too. All I know is that I can't work from nine to five Sit in an ergonomic chair for one half my life And mama said, life ain't gonna be easy There's the give and the take But that said there's three things that please me. Music, good love, and breath. And I don't know how I should live my life, no, no. I only know I don't want no old house attached to no old, old wife. And I ain't got no energy to make it as a pop rock star even though i've been dreaming that i'd go far and mama said life ain't gonna be easy there's the give and the take but that said there's three things that pleases me Music, good love, and brave.